What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at the Juggernaut RTA. All right, guys, so the random question of the day is, what do you think is the greatest invention of all time? Why do I keep asking myself the really difficult questions? I want to hear from you guys right down there in the comments box below. Greatest invention of all time. Well, I mean, there's indoor plumbing, there's electric light, but I think I'm going to go with the microchip. That's kind of a generalized answer there. I realize that, but the microchip is such an incredible invention. It runs so many different things all around your home right now as we speak, including the computer, phone, tablet, TV, whatever you're watching this video on. So let me know what you guys think is the greatest invention of all time right down there in the comments box below. So today we're taking a look at this Juggernaut RTA, another one from QP Designs, the guys up there in Canada, with a big huge shout out and thank you going to QP Designs for allowing me to take a look at one of these devices for the purpose of making this video. So I realize I'm super late to the game with this one here, but QP Design does not get nearly enough love in my opinion, and that's why I want to showcase their products because this thing is an absolute stellar little tank. Taking a quick look at their website, you can get this device in three different color options, stainless steel, gold, and gunmetal, and it's going to run you $75 US or $100 Canadian. And they also have a clear bubble tank and tip available as well for this one, so if you want to pick up some accessories, you can absolutely do that right there from their website. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link on my website. Link to my website will be right down there in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got the Juggernaut RTA in its original box. Let's quickly take a look around the packaging, and then we'll talk about what's inside. So as you can see, very plain and simple packaging with this one here, a matte black box with silver embossed all over it. Juggernaut QP design right there, lovely silver embossed. On the bottom, Juggernaut RTA. And on the top, same thing, nothing on the sides. And on the back, some very basic information. Uh, Juggernaut QP Design, enjoy warm, dense vape, and a few little specs right down there. No other warnings or anything like that. We have a color indication and some social media right there, and designed in Canada. No UPC or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and take a look what we get inside the box. First and foremost, we have, of course, the Juggernaut itself. We'll be taking a look at that in just a second here. We have a spare 4 mil. Ultim Polished Ultim Tank. And then we have a 6 mil Bubble Ultim Tank. There we go. And we also get the obligatory baggy O parts. Let's see what we get in here. The basics, some O-rings, uh, some spare screws, and an Allen wrench. That's about it. So no manuals, no frills, no thrills, nothing like that, just the essentials. All right, guys, let's talk about the specs. First of all, it's 24 millimeters at the base, 28 with the 4 mil tank, 31 with the fat Ultem tank. It is serialized, stainless steel construction, pull-up top fill, no leaking, postless deck, top airflow to coil design, dual coil or single coil configuration. It comes with an 810 polished Ultem drip tip, a polished Ultem 6 mil fat tank, a polished Ultem 4 mil tank, and a glass 4 mil tank. All right, guys, let's go over the Juggernaut in a little bit more detail here, starting with the drip tip. Nothing super fancy about this tip whatsoever. It's just your standard run-of-the-mill 810 Ultem tip, and it's a little bit on the short and fat side. You can see the bore going right through there nice and wide, as you can see see and matching of course on the bottom just to show you guys it is in fact 810 I've got a dead rabbit RTA tip that I can just pop into place right there never had any real problems fitting any drip tips in albeit this one is a little bit on the looser side but I've never really had any issues with them falling out or anything so with that we have a single o-ring on the inside lip there hopefully you guys can see that that is what holds your drip tips nice and firmly in place up at the top section here you can see the airflow control which you can fully close and fully open just like that and this thing just spins around freely so you can just spin it just like that if you wanted to on the side here we can see the juggernaut engraving towards the top and this nice little ridged design here at this top section this is actually where you fill up your tank so you you pull up on this section there and right there is your fill port so you just 
put your juice bottle in there or your glass dripper or whatever you got and just give it a squeeze and it fills the tank in no time. So taking a look underneath the hood here, we can see that the airflow comes in down from the top with this little section on the outside of the deck. And then it comes in through those little holes on the side of the deck right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And you'll see what I'm talking about when we show you the deck in just a second here. But you can see that it fits perfectly right in this slot here. And you can see the bore on the chimney section right through the top there, which is I'd say slightly wider than 510 so that is definitely a nice touch there and overall gives you a very smooth feeling to the airflow no problems with that airflow whatsoever in my opinion so here's the build deck with my build still in it as you can see I don't use a whole lot of cotton with this device here just basically enough to tuck into those little wicking ports on the sides and that's about it it's almost as much as you use on a standard RDA or something like that here we can see the build deck with no coils so you can see the positive and negative blocks separated by the insulator nice general generously sized post holes so you could fit the exotic wire builds in there no problem whatsoever. We have the air vents on either side that's where your air is going to come in and hit your coils and the wicking ports on either side here and that's where you're going to tuck your cotton down into and they are a little bit on the smaller side so you're definitely going to have to thin out your cotton and make sure you stuff it in there real tight but uh, here are the screw heads on the sides as you can see they are allen headed and I've never had any problems with these stripping or slipping or anything like that even though they're really super tiny and uh, no space wasted with this deck here absolutely every millimeter is used up by something functional so that's all i've got for you guys in this little close-up section let's go back to the main screen have a quick vape on this thing and we'll talk about it some more All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of this video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off with the pros, my first pro is that this thing looks freaking cool. I really like the looks of this device. Aesthetically, it's very pleasing to the eye. It's got the subtle lines to it. it looks very almost industrial, and it's got the nice QP design logo right there on the chimney section, which is awesome. Absolutely love the look of this thing, and I think you will as well. My second pro for this one is top fill for the win. I love this top fill system. System. It really doesn't waste any space at the top whatsoever. No threads up there either, which is definitely a plus. I can't stand the screw off top fills. This one here, you just pull up on that little piece there and it reveals the hole where you fill it up with juice. Super simple, super elegant, doesn't interrupt the flow of the whole tank and you can fill it right up to the top with ease. My third pro today is the simplicity of the build deck. This one can be built on by absolutely any skill level builder out there. You can just drop a coil in, tighten it down, tune it up and you're good to go. You can build a single coil or dual coil on this one deck here which is just great and it has a ton of build options as well. And my fourth and final pro for this one here is the flavor. I get excellent flavor with this one here somewhere in between the Dead Rabbit RTA and the OBS Engine V2. It kind of falls right there in the middle. This one here has the top down airflow coming in underneath the deck at an angle very similar to a bottom airflow RDA. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons. My first con is that the wicking on this one is a little bit on the tighter side. Right now I'm running dual three millimeter coils and when I wick this thing, you have to really just jam it on in there. Even after I thin it out a little bit with my tweezers, I still have to kind of cram all that wicking material into those little slots. So for this one here, you really, really have to thin it out if you want any luck with wicking. Otherwise you could potentially get some dry hits. My second con for this one is that the top fill port mechanism is a little bit on the looser side. So it does run the risk of opening up in your pocket and it just spins freely which can be a little bit annoying because sometimes it is a little bit hard to get a grip on it and therefore you kind of end up just spinning it in place by accident so it's mostly annoying more than anything but I just really fear that one day this thing is going to open up in my pocket and I'm going to get juice absolutely everywhere. And my third and final con for this device is the price point is a bit on the steep side and I realize this is not your average run-of-the-mill mass-produced RTA. They do come out in limited batches but with this one here I feel like that price point will turn quite a few people off to this device, which is really unfortunate because they won't be getting their hands on this beautiful piece of machinery.
So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for a review? I'm gonna say yes this one, and if you're a true RTA fan, then this should definitely be in your collection. I just love the mechanics and inner workings of this device. Just everything fits so perfectly and the machining is on point. So I could definitely see myself spending the money on this one. If you're a fan of the Dead Rabbit RTA and the Engine V2, then definitely go ahead and pick up one of these juggernauts because you will absolutely love this one. And if you guys wanna pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link to my website where you can find the links to buy one of these things right down there in the description below. But that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Leave your comments down in there in the box below and check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always, vape on.